So the end result is that someone with FND may be dismissed as just borderline, where someone struggling with borderline might get routed through neurology and end up missing out on the therapy and support that they actually need. So how do you tell them apart? Well, FND usually first starts with neurological symptoms, like weakness, tremors, or non-epileptic seizures, patterns that don't match those with epilepsy or stroke, but they're still very real. Doctors can sometimes detect this with specialized exams, such as Hoover's sign for leg weakness. If a patient says they can't move one leg, but when they press the opposite leg against some resistance and the weak leg presses down automatically, that tells us the wiring is intact. The impairment, therefore, is functional. Not fake, but not due to stroke or nerve damage. In contrast, BPD centers on chronic emotional instability, identity struggles, and relationship challenges. The physical symptoms, if present, are secondary to the emotional crises and not the main problem itself. So it's not about which is real, both are real. It's about where the problem originates the brain's movement and sensory processing networks in FND versus the brain's emotion regulation centers in BPD. 